Hi Taurus, this is your forecast for the month of August 2017. If you have visited me before, thank you for returning and if you are new, welcome. This is a general reading for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising or Taurus Moon. It could also be helpful to watch your rising and moon sign. You can also join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology as well as my pay-per-view channel vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer for love, finance, and other readings. So Taurus, this first week of August, you are withdrawing from something. You know, there's a bit of discontent, some dissatisfaction. You could even be indifferent to the outside world. Maybe you're lost in your own thoughts, you're turning inward. Um, you know, maybe there's just a lack of motivation for about something. You feel somewhat empty, perhaps even a bit depressed. Uh, for others of you, you're just taking some time. You're want, you want to wait. You're thinking about something uh, before you move forward. Uh, it could be that there's some offer that you are considering and you don't know whether you want to take that or not. Uh, something is put on the table and you are considering it carefully. Fortunately, you are able to look at the long range. Something is being offered to you that perhaps sounds good on the front end, but somehow or another you see some holes in this offer and you know that there is a potential for some problems perhaps on the back end. So you're able to look at the big picture. You're aware of the possibilities and the pitfalls. And so you're able to diffuse any potential problems before they arrive and you're able to plan and move ahead. But this is a week about uh, taking some kind of risk or a leap of faith on some level, either in yourself, in another person, or in a situation, or all of it. Because this is going to be a week where some situations come across your path that lend a, an air of anxiety. You feel some kind of worry on some level. Or you're just in a state of mind where you're really focused, you're fine, and you don't really need anything else. Uh, some of you are withdrawing to think about this situation. You're lost in thought and you're socially isolating yourself from other people. Uh, you're in a state of, you know, somewhat limbo, just nothing's really going, going on. Now, this may tie into success or getting some recognition or just taking some time out to appreciate you. Uh, you want to get away from it all, get away from the fray. And so you're re-evaluating a situation and trying to determine how you feel about it. Now, for those of you who are at peace with where you are in the world, you're feeling good about life, you are riding high, life is good, you feel good materially, uh, work is going well, your personal relationships are on par, then for you, this is going to be a situation where if you're paying careful attention, if you're picking up on the subtle synchronicities, there are going to be uh, a lot of happy possibilities that cross your path. But again, you have to be paying attention. And so for you, there are opportunities to increase your material security, for you to feel emotionally satisfied. But for those of you who are dealing with some doubt, uh, you're going to want to pull back on a situation because you're not sure about how things are necessarily in the present. Perhaps the present has a, a bit of instability and it's also making you unsure about your future. So you may be looking at some recent choices that you made or something that you did and questioning whether that was the wise thing to do. Uh, for some of you, you're pulling back because there's some dilemma, something that you're facing, dealing with, and you can't focus on anything else. It doesn't matter what comes across your path, who's offering what, whether it's affection, love, an opportunity. 
you can see one thing and one thing only. You're trying to solve something. And so even when people give you advice or suggestions, you're not taking it. You're not taking them up on it until you finish what you're doing or you solve this problem. It could be that you're just not accepting something uh, because you're in denial. Uh, you, you don't want to see it. No, I'm not going to take that. Don't even put that my way because, you know, maybe you're taking too much for granted about a situation or there's something in a situation where things have changed and yet for you you're still sitting in that same place you're like no it can't be this cannot be the truth of the situation and so it's difficult for you to re to accept that something has changed and you may be absolutely refusing the fact that it has changed 